So in today's episode of Eats and Beats, we're going to stay down south and we're going to New Orleans. Come on in, we're making some fresh gumbo. So we got some smoked turkey, I mean smoked chicken, onions, carrots, celery, red pepper, bell pepper. Of course you got to have the andouille sausage, a little cilantro to sprinkle on at the end. We got some flour and some butter to make the roux. And once we make that roux, we'll put in some chicken stock to make the gravy. And then we'll top that all together. We'll put that over a nice bed of white rice. And that's what we're doing today on Eats and Beats. Let's get it going. All right, so we're going to do step one. The first step we're going to do is we're going to sear, put a little sear on this lovely andouille sausage. All right? So already get going. I got the Le Crusade. And uh, a little olive oil in here. At the bottom, you can put it to the flavor of your, your choice. Mix that up. And then you're going to put this andouille sausage in there. And this is like the easy Oh, man. Put that go. And uh, so mix that up. And we're going to uh, get a nice sear on all those pieces. And then once they get a nice sear on it, we'll uh, pull this out and leave all the juices and everything in there to put the vegetables in after that. And then we put the roux in after that to make the gravy in the roux. And then we put that all together and you'll see a finished product too. It'll probably take about a minute and a half to two minutes. Get these corners. Get a nice little wooden spoon so you don't mess up the pot. But that's cooking, cooking nice. I'll see you in a few seconds to show you the next step. So step two is that smoked chicken that was really smoked on the grill, uh, just to get that real smoky flavor to it. You put that in, that's a pretty much already cooked. And uh, you put that in there. When the andouille sausage is finished, I'm gonna put that on top of that. But this is just step two. You wanna keep that, all of that, on the bottom, the seasoning, you want to keep that in there. So I'm going to scoop that out and put it on top of this chicken. But you want to keep all that seasoning in the bottom of the pan because that's going to be in the roux and also the seasoning for the, uh, for the vegetables that you do next. So you don't want to scoop all that out. All that seasoning that just came out of this andouille sausage is good stuff. That's a part of the, that's a part of the mix. So you want all that juice and all that stuff to be in there and just uh, take a little time. Got a nice, nice little color, a nice little uh, thing on it. But if you look at the bottom of the pan, you can see all that good seasoning down there. You want that, that's, that's part of that down home, the Louisiana Cajun flavor. Gotta get these last four out. Then we gonna go to the next step. Step number four. You're gonna put the onions, the carrots, the, the uh, celery, and the bell peppers in here. And you're gonna put it in the seasoning this, that's already in there. Just drop that in there like that. We're gonna cook this all the way down. And just let that move that around. And get a nice little, some of that flavor that was already in there. And then I'm gonna drop some garlic in it on top of that. I already had a lot of this stuff prepped so you don't got to spend a lot of time watching me on the video. And uh, you just mix that in there. Stir it around, whether we get all that juice and that flavor that's on the bottom. I actually should be using this wooden spoon so I don't mess up my nice pot. And uh, just get it all in there. And let that cook up. You can put salt and pepper in here if you want to, but uh, I'm trying to keep it a little sodium. So I'm gonna just do it natural and let that cook down. I'll see you for step five in a few minutes. So one thing to remember, in eats and beats, it can't just be about the eats, you gotta have the beats. So you see I'm in straight New Orleans playing it. I'm on Apple Music on the New Orleans Brass Band Essentials. I'm gonna post it in the video, either up here or down here or over there or somewhere. But it's the uh, New Orleans Brass Band Essentials on Apple Music. Shout out to Scrizzo, the dopest track battle app in the world. Alright, well we're going to keep it going with the New Orleans sounds, which you already know about Eats and Beats, but let's go. We're 
we're gonna put the Eats and Beats Spice Blend. It's a special little Cajun blend that we make. We're gonna put that in here and sprinkle that on. I'm still trying to keep it low sodium, so I didn't put any salt or pepper in it, but it is low sodium. Mix that in there. We just sweated all the vegetables down. Uh, we sweated the vegetables down, and as you see at the bottom of the pan, all that, all that seasoning that was in the sausage is now gone. That is now all in the sweated vegetables. So it's sweated down, all of that stuff is now soft. And when we finish this, we're gonna dump this. Use my little rag, because it's hot. This over here on top. Dump these vegetables on top of this. And that is now the next layer, the next process of this Louisiana gumbo. So we're gonna come back to this second, but as you can see, it looks good. So now we got this pot ready. And we're gonna go on the next step to build the roof. All right, so the next step is we're making the roux. I showed you a little bit earlier with the butter. If you could come in here and see now, this is a, what they call a blonde roux. I guess it's because of the color. They call it a blonde roux. I guess if, once it starts to turn dark, it becomes a brunette. I don't know if that's the case, but right now it's a blonde roux. But you just keep mixing that up, and that's just flour and butter. And this is gonna go in the gumbo uh, but it's a gravy. This is basically making the gravy that's a part of, of the gumbo. So you just got to keep stirring it up and watching it. Don't leave this on the pot and not pay attention to it because you'll play yourself and burn something. But just keep stirring with it. I would usually use a uh, whisk, but I don't have it right now, so I'm going to just use this wooden spoon to do it. And uh, we're almost there. So pretty soon this is going to get dark. So I'm going to just keep playing with it and mixing it up. And we'll see you on the next step. This next step is, is the, the caramelization is taking place with the flour and the butter. And you can see it's going from a blonde to a brunette. See how it's getting dark? This is, this is gumbo. This is what it, this is the, these are some of the secrets. I might get in trouble from the government from doing this, but I'm gonna go ahead and show it to y'all and put it on YouTube. So if I show up missing, don't worry about it. It might be because I'm showing you the tricks, but now it's getting dark. It's going from a blonde roof to a brunette roof. And you can see now, look how dark it's got from previous. And the smell, oh my God, it's like a nutty, it's like a nutty smell. It, it's, it's, it's really, really unbelievable. Now all that flavor is going to go in the gravy, which is going to be next when we put the chicken broth in which will be the next step see you in a minute next step is we're going to get this gravy going so now that it's a brunette i'm going to pour in this chicken broth to make the gravy we're just going to keep stirring that to break that down to make the gravy for the gumbo just pour that in there and let that break that up and all that flavor you want to get everything off the sides or whatever but now we're breaking it down, that's going to be good. You can thicken it if you wanted to add a little flour later, but for me right now, I'm going to just keep going with this. I use two chicken broth, uh, 32 ounces. That should be enough for this amount of gumbo. This gumbo should feed 8 to 10 people comfortably. Unless you've got some greedy folks, you might get it down to 6. But just load them up on some rice and save yourself some money. Ooh, ooh. So this is one of the final steps. So we're gonna the, the gravy is ready. Pull that off. There's a nice thickness to it. That's your gravy. That was the roux and the other stuff to make the actual gravy. So now that that's done. We're gonna go ahead and take all the ingredients, the chicken, the andouille sausage, all the vegetables. I'm just gonna slowly put that in here. And put that in here. Chicken, you see all that chicken at the bottom coming out there? All of that's going in there. Chicken, andouille sausage, gravy. So do that, put that in here. 
and just move that around. We'll get that set. And now we are at the finishing stages of my interpretation of gumbo. Now I want you to follow me this on this on this video. Come back up. I'm not from New Orleans. I love New Orleans. It's one of my favorite cities in the world, not just in the United States. If you want to help the people in New Orleans, because a lot of people are struggling right now, I'm going to try to put some information in the video that you can click to try to help. I don't know that yet. This first video I've done, first cooker video. But I probably made some mistakes in making this. But this is my interpretation of gumbo. But it's really about New Orleans. It ain't really about me. So enjoy this. And this is this episode of Eats and Beats. Yeah. 